followers of Jesus are called to anthropomorphic climate change. <laughs> we, we have a vocation to be engaged in climate change, and we do that by praying <coughs> everywhere we go, <coughs> recognizing that we have the power of the Holy Spirit in us to effect change and that the forces that are arrayed against us are far larger than we can ever conquer but they're gnats against the creator of the universe recognizing that reality is transformational and how we go to work and how we vote and how we advocate for candidates and how we participate in church life, nonprofit life, uh, political life. We are called to advance a culture which is called the kingdom of God. This was the central message of Jesus, the kingdom of God. Thomas Aquinas, for whom we are, whose namesake and legacy we are gathered, understood this and he got the fact that Kingdom culture, kingdom thinking, kingdom action were all interlinked and must never be divided. We have the power within us to overcome that power which is in the world around us. And I don't want us to feel hopeless at all. I want us to feel victorious but it's up to us to take hold of the power that God has given us. The enemy would have us believe that we're powerless and that we have no ability to affect the reality around us. That is simply not true. Tammy has seen time and again the power of prayer and the effectiveness of the Spirit of God intervening through the people of God to change circumstances, to change laws. So I encourage all of you to walk in that kind of faith and to pray with that kind of expectation. Mm -hmm.